There are so many students who wish to get into the field of psychology after grade 12. Even for 11th and 12th, now we have an elective subject called psychology. So after completing 12th in India, we have two courses basically. One is a BA in psychology and another is a BSc in psychology. Apart from that, there are also programs like applied psychology. But in this video, let's understand the basic difference between BA psychology and BSc psychology. Any BA program for it matters, I would say it is more into the philosophical and theoretical part of it. But the BSc programs will be more into logical reasoning and scientific analysis. And the same applies for your psychology program too. But in India, I would say in most of the universities, if you check the syllabus of BA psychology and BSc psychology nowadays, you don't find much of a difference in the syllabus. Earlier, BA Psychology was a course which can be applied for non-science students and the BSc Psychology was a course which has to be applied by the science background students. I mean plus one and plus two. If you have taken science, then you can go for BSc Psychology and if you come from a humanities or commerce background, you can go for your BA in Psychology program. But now in India, most of the colleges, they provide the program BSc Psychology. BA Psychology is becoming I would say much lesser compared to the BSc psychology programs that are being offered. That does not mean that BA psychology is not at all available. No, it is not like that. But comparatively, most of the new gen universities that are coming up with the programs, uh, if you see, it is mostly BSc psychology. And what they say is, even for the BSc psychology program, a humanities or a commerce student can apply. The only thing is, uh, if they are providing seats for this program, they will give more weightage for the science students compared to a commerce or humanities student. So what my advice would be, if you are planning to get into the field of psychology and if the aim is to get into the core psychological fields, I would advise to go with the science background itself. In the Western countries, if you see, there is a clear differentiation between BA Psychology and BSc Psychology program. So if you are going to pursue a program in psychology, I would advise all of you to go through the syllabus that the university is offering. And let me also remind you, the syllabus in all the universities are not going to be the same. So please go through the syllabus, understand what are the things that they have included in your three years of studies. In India, BA Psychology and BSc Psychology is three year program. But in Western countries, most of the programs you will find for four years because the bachelor degree in most of the countries is four years. With the latest NEP that came out in the year 2021, it said that even for India, the bachelor programs would be of four years. So we have to wait for that. But until now, it is a three year program. There are various fields that you can get into after completing a degree in psychology. Some students would be interested in getting into teaching, so they take a different path. Some people would be interested in getting into research, their path would be different. Some people, their interest would be core counseling. And some others would be interested in joining multinational companies. In, even in multinational companies, if you look into the HR department, if you have completed a program like a BSc or a BA in psychology and then done a master's in something like uh, maybe MBA with HR specialization and all, you have an opportunity there too. So there are a lot of students who completes their bachelor's in psychology and then specializes in human resources and then eventually get into the MNCs. So you have to think what exactly the field is because there are so many things that you can get in. So think wisely and select it. Good luck.